Right now, right here with Chris Colfrey. He's only 22, but he's already earned a Golden Globe, too. You can cheer for him. That's yeah. okay. for a star turn on Glee. Now he's out with his first novel. It's called The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell. And this is a novel a long time in the making. It is, yeah. Um, I wanted to write it ever since I was 10 and uh, came up with the story then and promised myself then that I would uh, write it someday. Well, I gave this to my nine-year-old mm -hmm. last night, Elliot, and she had a question for you. Mm -hmm. She wanted to know where the inspiration came from. <laughs> the inspiration came from me just being a very inquisitive 10-year-old reading fairy tales. Uh, and tell us about those those twins right there. They yeah. go into the fairy tale world they and do. have all kinds of new adventures. Yeah, yeah. They are Alex and Connor, and uh, they inherit a magic storybook from their grandmother, and uh, magically are transported into the world of fairy tales. And your grandmother was inspiration. You dedicate I did, the book yes. to her. But I want to show you show everyone at home what she said to you mm -hmm. when you talked about this. She said, "I think you should wait until you're done with elementary school before worrying about being a failed writer." Right, right. That is some tough love. It was some tough love, but she, but thank God. She she gave me that advice because I tried writing it when I was I was very young and uh, failed because I didn't know too many words to write with. <laughs> and, uh, and her best advice was, you know, I, I think you need to at least get to junior high before you consider yourself failed in anything. <laughs> you didn't only write it, though. You also, when you were back in elementary school, drew a cover. Let's show everybody the cover right now. Yeah. And there it is. That is the yeah. original. That was the original cover that I <laughs> myself made when I was 10. <laughs> it looks a little different. A li it's a little better now, I'd say. It's same idea, same Let's core idea right there, the land of stories. Now tell us about another story, your character Kurt on Glee. Graduated from McKinley High, yeah, but yeah. you're coming back. I'm coming back, yeah. Yeah, start up in a, in a week or so, and uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but but we'll see when I get there. What else can you tell us about the season, or just about the whole experience? Well, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker's coming on, so that'll be fun. I don't know what she's going to do exactly yet, but uh, I know I get to work with her, so I'm looking forward to that. And at the same time, you've also been not only writing a novel, not only acting on Glee, winning all kinds of awards, you've also got, uh, you also wrote a screenplay for a film at the Tribeca Film Festival. Yes, yeah, uh, first film that I did, which I, uh, I also wrote the screenplay for, because I'm very vain, um, <laughs> uh, is coming out this December. Well, that is fantastic. And you found you even found time to get a cat after all this? I did. I adopted a cat named Brian. Hi, Brian, if he's watching. If he's watching. Why are you watching, Brian, your cat? Um, but, yeah, he's, so he's 20 pounds right now, so I'm trying to get him to lose a little weight. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming on. I will give you a full report from Elliot thank when you. she finishes thank the you. book. <laughs> it's called The Land of Stars, The Wishing Spell, Chris Coulter. And when we come back, Super Bowl champ Victor Cruz.